do you communicate to smaller organizations who believe their donor base doesn't have non-cash assets to give? Is there a communication that you would recommend to help them? So yes, we get faced this all the time that, oh, we don't have those types of givers or we don't have a, a giver who could write a six figure check. Newsflash, that's not true. In fact, almost all the time when we approach those types of organizations, they do. Um, but how would you um, kind of refute that or rebut that, Dr. James? Yeah, well, look, we can share stories of non-cash assets, and those stories do not have to include the dollar figures with them, right? We can share a story, and it doesn't even have to be a story of a donor to your organization. You can share a story of just, you know, you remind me of uh, another donor who also cared about many of these same things, and 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 what he did, what he likes to do is to make these uh, gifts of of uh, stocks or make a gift of real estate because he gets a double tax benefit when he does that. Now, notice our story doesn't have to say it was a million dollar gift of real estate, right? It just mm -hmm. is going to share a story of a non cash gift. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and, and frankly, we can get into other sorts of things. Uh, you know, uh, uh, by the way, um, if you don't itemize, and even if you do itemize, the, <laughs> the most tax smart way you can give is once you reach age 70 and a half, you can make donations directly from your IRA. And when you make those gifts, if you, that money is money you've earned you've never paid taxes on. And if you make the gifts that way, you never do have to pay taxes on. And by the way, any of that that you leave to the family, they've got to pay income taxes on it when they take it out. But any of that that you name, say, a percentage of that money to go to the church if something happens to you, that goes tax free. So notice we're just sharing these stories and like, oh, our donors aren't that wealthy. Well, do you have anybody in your church with an IRA? Right. <laughs> you know, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. OK, so let's start talking about these gifts from assets. Right. These right. gifts from uh, IRA starting at age 70 and a half. And of course, the required minimum distribution started at age 72. But we can start giving before that at age 70 and a half.